Okay, so here is what happens when you are hatching chickens and you find out one has been trying to hatch for a while and it's stuck in the eggshell. It's not advisable to help chickens out, but where they are, this one's shrink wrapped, you can see the membrane's really dry. So I do help in this case because there's no way she's gonna be able to get out of the shell. If the membrane's dry, they get stuck and they can't turn and zip around. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just kind of picking away gently at the eggshell. If you do have to try this, you wanna make sure that the chicken has absorbed all of the blood from the membrane. So if you tear the membrane a little bit and you see blood, like here, I'll show you right here. So see how it's white? If you peel that a little bit, if you see any blood starting, that means they're not ready to hatch and you wanna put them back in the incubator and let them do their thing. But this one is not showing any. She's been trying to hatch for a while, you can tell. I'll just peel that away. I have some warm water here, Q-tip. I just, I don't wanna hurt her. So I'll try to get that membrane unstuck. All right. If we can get you to come out of here. Nothing in the water, it's just warm water because we don't want to get her chilled either. And you don't want to put too much water because they can very easily drown. There might be enough there. Other thing you want to be careful about when helping they are attached to the membrane still by the umbilical cord so you don't want to pull them apart away from the shell because you could damage it could actually tear their navel and they could end up bleeding to death so we don't want to do that so I'm just softening the membrane here so that she can get herself out I'm actually going to leave her in this half of the shell and let her work her way out. So where this one has shrink wrapped, it's clear that the humidity wasn't high enough in the incubator for her to hatch, so I'm going to add water to the incubator so any of the other ones that want to hatch don't have problems too, so we don't have to do this again. All right, so I'm going to put her back in and let her work her way out from the rest of here. So yeah, you can see the incubator temperature. So the humidity is only 45%. Um, that's fine throughout incubation, but you want it to be higher during hatching so you don't shrink wrap. I'm just gonna add some water in here. I put the paper towels down so that when they do hatch, I don't have a huge mess to clean up in the incubator because these styrofoam ones are make it difficult. But there she is. She's coming out. I'm just gonna close the top so she doesn't get chilled and let her do her thing. All right, and that's what I do. My hair looks crazy. <laughs> So if you have a shrink-wrapped baby, that's, that's what I do anyway. I know you're not supposed to and people will frown upon it, but hopefully that'll help somebody with their shrink-wrapped chickens so that you don't lose any. All right, thanks for watching.